Good day, traders. Mindset reset. It's uh, Free Cash Wednesday, CPI day. Today, I'm going to talk about a couple things regarding news, major red news days. So I'm going to talk about, uh, again, the importance of mastering your setups. So today we had CPI, large explosive first minute candle that literally explodes outside of the range on gold on indexes went from essentially high of the week to low of the week high of this current week to the low of previous week huge moves we had uh, Canadian dollar Bank of Canada rate announcement an explosive uh, candle at the same time as CPI and then the rate announcement at 9 45 a.m. so I'm going to just talk about uh First and foremost, number one, I always talk about you make money on the days that it's easy to make money on. So those are the days when you have your textbook best trade setups. The easy, we've had Monday, Tuesday, no major red news and literally have had textbook trade setups on indexes. We had the uh, three-day setup on the indexes yesterday, inside bar, signal day, false break at the high DJ 30 closing price and me measured move range expansions, the breakout, the range expansion on day two, textbook perfect trades. We had uh, pound yen, euro yen on Monday uh, breakouts that reversed. Uh, again, beautiful reversals outside, breaking out outside of the range. We had oil inside of Friday's high and Thursday's low. Obviously a large range. And levels, we had a pump and dump on Tuesday off of closing price from the low of the U.S. session on Monday. We had a closing price shorting trade, uh, pump and dump on Monday, again for a session scalp. But if you look at oil and you understand that it's inside, you need to understand how to trade those markets. If you're trading, uh, for example... I always use my friend Steven as an example because Steven only trades reversals after they break out. So you're trading on a major red news day, CPI, and number one, if you choose to trade on those days, understand that now you're trading on a day that could have potential volatility, lots of volatility. Now, the next thing to understand is when we have a market that goes first hour, so New York equity markets open at 9.30 gold, uh, typically golden currencies will kick in at 8.20. Okay, now if you don't understand that, go and read when the futures markets come to life and the old, the old pit markets used to open at those times. Oil at 9 a.m. So my point is this, on a normal day, when markets break out, there's no major red news, um, as I've said in the past, why would a market pump up when there's nothing driving it fundamentally or dump down when there's nothing driving it fundamentally and break outside of the previous day's ranges? So if we look at some examples, the, a great example on Monday, if you look at the pound, yen, euro, yen crosses, the U.S. session reversal trade opportunities. They broke out in London, uh, pumped back up right at the beginning of the U.S. window outside of the previous day's high, high of the week and gave great reversal trades. Those are textbook, perfect reversal trade setups. So then you contrast that on a day with major red news and we had a, a great third hour reversal. So CPI on gold, CPI one hour down, one hour down working in the low. Okay, it pulled back on, on uh, broke out of the, the previous day's low, first daily low of day level broken. 15 minutes working up consolidation and an engulfment. Now, understand that we have a market, a strong bull market, but we also now have a market that is inside. We've made a high and a low first hour, but we're not even at the New York Open yet. One hour. Second hour opens and goes lower. New York equity markets open, and again, in typical fashion, take traders in the wrong direction jamming them in or getting them to short on the open down low before engulfing. We're now, and I put this on the community post, one hour, just like Monday, Monday breakout, Tuesday consolidation, Wednesday reversal, or in the case of the indexes, a Friday pump day, inside day on Monday, a Tuesday false break reversal. Last week, Canadian dollar breakout, inside day reversal, one hour down, Second hour consolidation, engulfment, 
third hour reversal. It's the same concept. Dump, consolidate, and pump. Now the indexes gave, I think in my opinion, the, the DJ30 was the easiest one to, to take the third hour reversal, the cleanest. And the reason why I say that is because they worked into the low second hour before making higher highs. Uh, S&P and NASDAQ worked higher, and I don't often like to take those uh, into the hour because we can always have a one more little rifle down before engulfing for the third hour trade. Now, third hour gave a nice little reversal back up into that lower low of day level, the breakout level, but the DJ30 also had a space between the highs of the volume trap down low and where that breakout occurred, low of day level. So my point is this, if you're going to trade on those days where there's a major impact news mover on the calendar, already understand two things. Number one, step back. If you have a thesis or you're looking to trade the news, first bounce, first bar. Now there was no first bar setups. Uh, Canadian dollar, there might have been people positioning themselves, but that that is not a first bar setup for me to take. Uh, the large range candle, it's a momentum based candle, but it's just not not really on the radar. I'd like a longer time frame setup, a first bar that engulfs some trap volume before moving higher on momentum through those levels. So I know some traders did take that, it's okay. Uh, again, if that's your part of your trading plan. So again, I use my friend Steven as an example because Steven does nothing until those markets break out because he is a reversal specialist. And then once it breaks out, does it actually set up for that reversal trade? Gold gave a beautiful reversal trade. And of course, a new hour opens and it rifles down after consolidating into the traders who took that third hour long. Great moves in both directions. Not normal days. What I mean by that is that those aren't the normal day setups. So if you choose to trade on those days, understand, have a game plan, be prepared, understand, be willing to step, to sit on your hands. So I like to, to, to take that momentum trade setup on gold because they've already broken the low and I know they're going to work into the low. All you have to do is look to your left at Monday, Tuesday's low of day levels, all the volume was, was up high. They had pins hanging down there, which they went down and cleared out all the the, the longs from Monday's session, Tuesday's uh, higher level longs, they cleared all that out before consolidating, driving back up, and then also shorting back down again. So when you trade on days like this, you have to be prepared to know what you're doing. You have to be focused, like oil had inventories at 1030, and again, just not on my radar. It, it, it was inside still. I'm not really interested. I wasn't going to sit around to watch for that trade from the inside out just not really what i'm looking for today gold was an easy trade back inside and all you had to do was sit there and think one hour two hours third hour did it set up to give me that trade absolutely we had a chance to have a starter so next question was uh how do you trade that it's a large candle i thought you said your max stop was 25 pips now when you take a trade on a starter so think of it this way you're gonna you want to position yourself in a market today to capitalize on a on a dump and pump opportunity have a starter in place that reflects that if you have to take a position so I, down low as soon as it started to come back inside of of the breakout candle at 9 30 that's the opportunity to take the starter S small starter and then as price confirms one two three back up you now have the thesis to be adding back into that market as it dips down. And all I'm thinking now is 30 to 45 minutes consolidating higher highs and heading into that new hour. So each hour when it, when it starts, we have higher highs and each 15 minute rotation is making higher levels on top of consolidations underneath the low of day level. So remember the level, we have breakout traders in the market. We had news catalyst traders trapped on the first bar. So the first bar goes, they consolidate for five minutes and rifle back up 100 pips into first bar tr shorts. Traders who are chasing that momentum on the first minute. Huge candle. We come back up, consolidate, new 15-minute cycle starts. They, they dump it down and go back working into the low. 
They're working the low. One hour, two hours, three hours. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's the same concept. But now we're reusing time after a major news catalyst. And, and next thing, again, New York equity markets opened at the low of the day. New York equity markets on gold opened at the low of the day. So if you, so Stephen, my friend Stephen, I talk about Stephen because I have so much respect for him because he knows exactly what his setup is. He's not marking up six different charts and saying, well, if it does this, I'll be looking for this. And he's looking, have, have they broke out? Once they break out, he goes to work. He's got maybe two or three to choose from. He goes to one and then does it set up for his entry criteria. That's a setup. That's a trader that knows what his setup is, his winning setup in order to manage himself, in order to have a reproducible, simple process that he can scale up in size. Why can he scale it up in size? Because it's the same setup over and over again. One setup, that's it. Whether, and you know, he might look at other sessions on different instruments. But New York, when he's got his basket of instruments up, that's what he his go-to setup is. And this is what I keep emphasizing to traders. I'm not trying to read a market. I'm waiting for them to give me a setup. A, a dump and a pump or a pump and a dump. Now we go back and look at the pound yen, euro yen on Monday. That is a setup in the U.S. window. The pump and dump on Tuesday morning's Asia session. Pound New Zealand, euro New Zealand is a setup. Pump it up and from the New York close, consolidation for the dump. Same principle, same setup, different session. Uh, it's all the same. Front side, back side, day one, day two, day three, reset, day one, day two, day three. So there's going to be pump and dump setups that break out. They break out for the dump. Canadian dollar is a news momentum driven breakout. What it does later, I have no idea, but it's not a, it's not a breakout for a reversal, okay? That's a breakout driven by a news momentum catalyst on longer time frames now. Traders are up there trying to short it because it's it's at uh, broke out of the highs, but it may not be ripe for that. It may roll over uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, what, sorry, today's today's Wednesday. It could be a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday reversal. Don't know, no idea. But it's not set up for that reversal yet. It's just made, it was making higher highs, 9.45 a.m. The, the rate statement came out. They dropped it down and went back up again. So that is not a reversal setup. Um, so master, if you master the setups, everything gets easier. Then you recognize like on a day with CPI, well, okay, either scale down if you're not sure. But I, and I, I really suggest this to traders with gold and the news, you know, New, gold reacts to major red news like that. But I've always said this repeatedly. If you don't know how to trade gold, don't play with fire. Uh, study it, observe it. Or if you're going to trade on a major news day like CPI, understand that we may not be dealing in normal market conditions. Normal normal session, pump and dump in Asia, no major red news. A, a pump and dump or a dump and pump in London, a great parabolic range expansion trade on a day two, no major red news. It's a normal setup. Trade it as normal. When you have major impact news on the calendar, be prepared for anything to happen. And so either, uh, as I said, even with gold, have a starter. Is it behaving? Are you able to add into this position? Is it confirming? One hour, two hours, three hours. Not trying to figure out what the price action is doing. It's really simple. One hour down, second hour goes lower. New York breaks the low and engulfs, makes a higher high. We're coiling now. We're coiling sideways on top of the New York Open, making higher highs underneath the low of day level. Guess where that's going? Back up to closing price at a minimum, level to level, uh, and locking in the money. And I know there was a reversal later, but that's not, we're back inside now. So I put up that chart with oil to demonstrate that, yes, it's tradable. It is tradable, but what is what is your setup? Are you trading the market or was there a setup there? Is it a parabolic range expansion now? Is it is it going to give a reversal trade? Um, that's, my, that's my opinion because if you, if you keep it simple and you master pump and dump or dump and pump, whether it's reversals, that is easy 
to reproduce. And, and so traders are trying to trade all the time and they get, I get the same questions. Well, how did you know when to get in there? And how did you know when to get in here? And I, I, I got shaken out or I got in too early. It's because I've, that's, that's what I'm focused on our pump and dumps. That's my, my, my specialty today. It was a dump and a pump. Same thing, just in reverse. Master your setups. If you're inside, anything can happen. Anything can happen. So as I've mentioned, if you're inside, you need to be in a parabolic setup. A parabolic setup. As I said, J Japanese yen last Monday, go look at the Japanese yen chart, double inside day, a dump, double inside day, parabolic move US window. That is a parabolic move from the inside on a three-day coil. A dump and pump on a longer time frame template. The more you make it simple and understand your setups to a T and not worried about pushes and bars, the more you, you put minutia into your equation, I guarantee you two things. It's not consistent. Okay. It's hard to reproduce that. But guess what happens if a market breaks out on the New York Open or on the, in the U.S. Uh, first first hour, no major red news. It just breaks out and keeps going higher. Guess what? That can be easy to trade. No major red news. Why did it break out? Well, wait till it breaks out, breaks down, pumps back up. There's a dump. That's easy. That's a that's a pump and dump setup. Easy to reproduce. How is it easy to reproduce? Because we use the levels, the daily levels. When I'm inside, what you think and Trader asked me the other day, well, what do you mean? You mean the timing window is outside of the timing window? Is that Fugazi? It's Fugazi if there's no signal day and you're inside and you're trying to mark off levels and figure out what it might do today to trade it. That's 50 50. That is what my opinion is a 50 50. When a market sets up with a signal day, a three day setup with a signal day, thesis is like yesterday. Uh, the reversal on the index is traders said, oh, the risk reward wasn't very good on that. Uh, it's too risky. And this and that's because you're looking at the one minute chart. There's That's a three day setup. When you're at the high of the week on Tuesday, okay, Monday was an inside day. That's the high of the week. Guess what? Above those highs are other time frame traders. Below the lows are other time frame traders, the low of day levels. Those levels reflect other time frame traders. What is your specialty that you have mastered? What is the trading setup specialty that you have mastered? Not technical analysis, not measuring, marking off levels and trying to figure out what it might do today. What is your specialty? Steven's specialty is reversals. Very simple, specific criteria. Easy. Easy for him to reproduce. He's mastered that. The next goal is keep scaling it up in size. He's willing to he's willing to not even trade on certain days because of even though there might be setups, it's just not on his radar if there's a lot of high impact news and he doesn't want to put himself in a situation that he could do some harm to himself. He can come back later and look and say, well, there's a perfect setup. No problem. He has mastered the skill and the setup where he makes his easy money on. You make money on the days that it's easy to make money on. So when we do have a lot of high impact news, I, I have said this before, look at other session opportunities that don't have impact news on those days, or be prepared to step back and have a larger big picture thesis so that number one, you're not going to get caught into the volatility and chasing candles and marking off levels and trying to catch moves. That will at some point be your undoing. It will blow your account out. You'll get caught into something. You'll go on, uh, you can engage in emotional, impulsive, irrational behavior. And that is what will, what all, with all the good work that you can do, and I know traders will tell me this, and it might even happen today to some people, you'll destroy all the good results that you've done and you'll end up going back to square one. I can tell you with absolute certainty, been there, done that, and I know how hard it becomes to keep coming back. Learn to manage yourself. Learn to just focus on the setups that are easy to make money on. Not hoping, not guessing, not wanting anything. Like Paul Tudor Jones says, always be in control. Not wishing, wanting, or hoping. Catching a move, getting lucky. You know, what is your setup? So easy. What is your setup that you have mastered? Setups that make you money. 
if they're not there or it's going to be a high impact type day or it could be potentially harder to trade on that day, ask yourself this question. Am I, am I better off missing out or am I potentially uh, at risk if I go to try and trade a market today with high impact fundamental news on the counter, knowing that the markets may not be normal on that day? Your choice. I'm just giving you a mindset reset to think about because my number one thing I repeat to myself, because you you know, think about it. If you traded the cleanest, best trade setup with no major red news, go find go find one today. I challenge you with some homework today in closing. Go find your number one best trade setup. A, a, a long trade and a short trade. Go find your two best, cleanest favorite setups no major red news on the calendar or even if you want to use a major red news day and then ask yourself put them in front of your on your desk on your wall and ask yourself each time you're about to take a trade does this reflect does this look like one of those two best trade candidates is this trade going to be easy to make money on and if it's not only you can decide if it's worth taking risk on in that situation Focus on the trade setups that are easy to make money on and big money on that will reproduce frequently. How easy are they to trade? How much size could I put on this trade if I saw that same setup again? How much can I scale this this specific trade setup to over time and still know exactly what I'm doing in live time regardless of the size as I've done that through a confidence through accomplishment repetitively over and over and over every single time I see that specific money-making setup show up. Have a great day, traders. Beautiful, sunny, hot day here in southern Canada. Just had a great workout. Might go to the beach for a dip today. See you. Have a great day, and may the markets go with you.